This month is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. More than 10,000 children in the United States under the age of 15 will be diagnosed with cancer this year. After accidents, cancer is the second leading cause of death in children ages 1 to 14. There is a local foundation that's working to help children and families affected by pediatric cancer, and it started with the wish of a young girl who believed it would make Northeast Ohio a better land. Courtney uh, was my angel. Alicia Jones speaks of her daughter Courtney as only a mother can. A vibrant, loving, uh, amazing girl. For Alicia, Courtney was a bright light and she loved to dance until cancer changed the choreography of her life. We knew that there was something going on because she started missing dance. Then a bulge uh, occurred on her neck. She was diagnosed with leukemia lymphoma cancer. At just 10 years old, life changed the music and altered Courtney's routine, but never her attitude. As Courtney endured the painful chemotherapy and brain radiation, she had tremendous support from family and friends, but noticed other children in the hospital did not. She said, Mom, I want to help these other kids. Alicia promised they would after Courtney got well. But not long after making her request, Courtney became very ill and was rushed to the hospital. She told me, Mommy, I think I'm going to die today. And she laid there and then um, she lost her pulse and those were her last moments. But it wasn't the last time the name Courtney Jones would be heard and felt. Out of death, the Courtney Jones Care and Cure Foundation was born. It just gives me a way to still be Courtney's mother, to help other families. Families like the Hawkins, who lost their seven-year-old daughter Genesis, affectionately known as Gigi, this year to cancer. The foundation helped Jessica Hawkins keep her daughter's memory alive. We knew we had to have photos with the entire family. So while she was in treatment, the foundation arranged for a photo shoot of Gigi and her family at home, taking care of Gigi's wardrobe and providing a precious moment of fun. It was so beautiful just to have the photos done in our home with our family. We know that these kids are going through a tough time, but we still have to remember that they're kids, and that's what your foundation does with providing them some really fun experiences while they're going through their treatment. Yes, yes. The comfort cases uh, that we provide, some of the things in the comfort cases are here. So they can bring their own comfort case, pack it the way they want. The foundation's mission is to spread joy and hope. When I'm gone, just like Courtney did. You're gonna miss me by the head, you're gonna miss me everywhere. So Courtney's spirit is still living on. It's still living on. As long as I have breath in me, it's always gonna live on. Wow, just amazing. Oh. Uh, Courtney's spirit is living on in the foundation services, uh, University Hospitals, Rainbow Babies and Children, Cleveland Clinic Children's Hospital, and also Akron Children's Hospital. And here's what's exciting, starting next summer, the Courtney Jones Scholars Program, they will fund four underrepresented minority students to work as paid summer cancer research scholars at Case Western's Comprehensive Cancer Center. This was a tough one, Katie. I think because, you warned, you you know, warned us. I, I, I this got This was it, a really. tough one, you know. But when you see all the joy that this foundation is bringing to families and providing them with things that we don't think about, a lot of these kids don't have suitcases. They come in with plastic bags. A lot of these mothers have other children. They can't stay in the hospital with their child all day. And so Courtney saw this and says, Mommy, we got to do something. And what she's doing it. Amazing perspective. Yeah. What a beautiful legacy. Yeah. How her mom said, I can still be Courtney's mom. That's it. That's what it's about. It's a beautiful story. Hey, if you know of an organization or a person who is helping to make Northeast Ohio a better land, we'd love to know about it. You can fill out a form under the Better Land section of our News 5 app or news5cleveland.com. It's 638. Be right back. We're back now at 